Hi dancers, I'm Jojo from Ballet with Jojo and our Ballet Collective and today I wanted to share with you my favourite training tools that I, I feel have really affected my adult ballet journey. Firstly, let's talk about my bar. So my bar was such an investment for me, but I have absolutely no regrets. So I got my bar um, when the pandemic was you know, starting and we were all in lockdown. We were doing ballet classes at home because that's what everyone was doing. So my whole studio went online and I was using my wall or uh, my kitchen counter as my bar and I just felt that my technique was actually being compromised, my alignment, because the wall wasn't quite right and I was actually hurting my wrist by resting it against the wall and the kitchen counter was just a little bit too low and I was also gripping it because it was really really square so it was just not a great experience so I thought let's invest in a ballet bar, see how that goes and it's been amazing. It changes the way that you experience and that you do ballet in your home. Um, I love it because it kind of brings a bit of ballet into your home as well. If you are looking at getting a ballet bar for your home, I would advise to do your research, figure out what your needs are specifically. So for example, for me, I wanted something that was um, the right height, because <laughs> I'm pretty short, but a good height for me on point and on flat. And because I wanted to do point work as well, it needed to be sturdy so it couldn't be flimsy or light or easily knocked over. It needs to be sturdy, which is what it is now. Um, I really wanted a wooden bar because it feels amazing. <laughs> so the feel is really important to me. Um, and also because my house is so small and tiny, it needed to be on display all the time. So it needed to be aesthetic and kind of fit in with my vibe so that's why I went for this bar it's from Bespoke Ballet Bars I actually have done a full-on review of this bar and I have also done a little video on how I put my home studio together which you might be interested so I'll link both of these videos so you can um, have a look at them if you are interested next let's talk about this big thing next to me so this is just any kind of exercise fit ball. Um, mine's just from Fila, obviously. I love the colour. Um, it's just from Target. I think it was $10. Mine is 55 centimetres. Um, it does depend on your height. I actually got this because I did my PBT teacher training from home. Um, it was supposed to be in real life and I've only ever done PBT in real life in classes where they've just got equipment there so I've never needed my own but it has been such a great investment I say investment but it was just like ten dollars um, this is one of the most versatile and um, functional pieces of equipment that I've ever got and I love it so much there are so many amazing PBT exercises you can do with this if you're not familiar with PBT it means progressing ballet technique it's um, a range of these exercises that you can use to help with your alignment and your strength I highly advise it for adult ballet dancers because it really really helps your body engage and learn all your muscle memory so really helpful if you want to progress in your ballet journey but there's just so many cool exercises you can do with this ball and um, let me show you some And next let's talk about these little balls. So this one here is another target ball. I love the spikes on it. It actually makes it really good for PBT because it kind of grips onto you. I'm pretty sure it's just $2 from the toy section. Um, super fun, use it all the time. So many exercises you can do with this, so handy. I've also got these two and these two are Claudia Dean Power Balls. You can see they're pumped up differently. So I use them uh, for different purposes as well, but you'd just be so surprised at how handy all of these little balls are. 
Again, clearly I love pink, <laughs> but it's also just worked out that all my stuff is pink, okay? So balls are super handy. Um, let me show you something that you could do with the ball. All right, and next we're going to talk about TheraBand. So I've got two TheraBands. I've got this one, and this one is from PBT, and it's three meters long because they use it for all sorts of wrapping and things like that. So it's a super long TheraBand, super useful as well, just because there's so much you could do with it because there is length. And I also have Claudia Dean's TheraBand, which is, I know, so aesthetic in here. <laughs> so hers is also a good length. Um, it's probably more useful, more usable because it's shorter. This, if you are just doing something where you don't need all of it, it can just get like a bit much because three meters is super long. But if you are doing um, PBT exercises with the wrapping and stuff like that, I would highly advise to get a three meter one. For anything else, like if you're just doing like feet exercises, um, Claudia's one's a great length. Or you can just get them from anywhere like block and um, even like... Uh, sports stores and stuff like that would have TheraBands, but they are an amazing tool in your journey. They are so uh, versatile and so useful in so, 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 so many different ways. You could literally work out your entire body with a TheraBand, so I think that that is really, really amazing. They're also uh, relatively inexpensive, so I think they are a great tool for your journey. Let's have a look at some exercises we could do with a TheraBand. Okay, and next we're gonna go to my foam roller. <laughs> I have an especially spiky foam roller. I actually wanted my foam roller to be kind of smaller, uh, to have like a smaller um, diameter than other foam rollers because I am quite small and I used to find that when I was on bigger ones, it just wasn't getting it in the right place when I would put it like under my back. But foam rollers are such amazing training tools as well as kind of recovery, stretching, massage tools. 100% invest in one. There's all sorts of foam rollers, all sorts of different strengths. You can get ones that vibrate, um, all the different colors, clearly. So look, it's totally up to you. I really love this foam roller because it is extra spiky, because it's a little bit small, because it's pink, matches my vibe, but it's really quite a strong one, which I personally like. Um, you can obviously just get like the proper foam ones, they are not as strong or you can get sort of ones like these and they have like different inserts in them so you can get like a range of them, I know Lululemon sells some, um, Gain of Minden has some, so do your research into foam rollers, um, they can be as cheap or as expensive as you want them to be. I think this was pretty mid-range, I think I paid about $30 for it so it wasn't that expensive, I use it all the time it's useful for fitness and for stretching and for massaging and for so many other things so definitely grab a foam roller all right and then last but not least we're kind of going into massage tools are these little balls so this ball is they call it like a pinky ball um similar to a lacrosse ball naturally it's pink and then i've got like a spiky one which kind of looks like the baby version of this big one which is cute but i love this spiky one it's super dense it's quite small in size compared to this one but um for me because i've got small feet this works better because you can roll your feet out with balls like this as well which is pretty good but i just find i get a little more bit more targeted 
um, like muscle <laughs> rolling out with the smaller ball. I also use this a lot for like trigger points for like my shoulders, um, and my back, my lower back. I tend to get um, soreness there. So these little balls are really, really handy for that. Um, this one's pretty dense, pretty hard, but not as hard as this. So I have these two because I use them for different occasions. I'm using this one a little bit more um, because I just prefer that targeted area, but it really does depend. It does come in handy having both of these. All right, so those are my favorite training tools for adult ballet dancers. I hope you found that interesting. Um, if you have any questions at all about them, if I've forgotten to say something or forgot to cover something, please, please, please DM me or leave it in the comments below. Look, no one's perfect and we're all just doing our best here. But um, yeah, I hope to see you soon. Bye.